Hello, my friends, and welcome. Katie here with Eastwick's Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. And today's video is part of a uh, blog video hop that we have a theme, monthly theme for. And this month we are using critters and stencils. And today I'm going to be doing the stencils. I don't own any critter stamps. And so I'm using my Procyon Fiber Reactive Dyes. If you're not familiar with these, these are... Um, tie-dye inks. So uh, professional grade, professional quality tie-dye inks. And so you, I, I have them in some spray bottles. I've done some swatches there um, so you can see some of the colors. And because tie-dye ink, it, it generally once you mix it up in water, it's got about a two-week shelf life. And then it kind of starts to deteriorate in its vibrancy. So I keep them. I put them in mason jars and I put them in spray bottles and, and, and that way I can reuse them in my paper craft because there's no reason for it to go to waste. As you're going to see here when I take the stencil off, you can see it as I'm painting it on, but it's very, very vibrant. And so you don't, you could even thin these down with water to soften them up if you wanted to. I chose to keep them nice and vibrant. I wanted a nice pop to the to the flowers so I just I, I kept it the the consistent would see which when I mix tie-dye is two teaspoons of powder to eight ounces of water now the colors like this flower I'm doing here that's amethyst and the one that's right above that that's fuchsia red and then I'm going to be coming in with imperial purple and then I'm going to take a mix of the fuchsia red amethyst and some of that turquoisey blue that I have there in the center of the palette and mix that and that's going to give me a little bit different shade of purple pinky purple a little bit more muted but it's still very pretty and then in the centers for the stamens I have a lemon yellow and for the leaves I've got a bright green and this couldn't be any easier I mean I'm literally just slapping the, the paint in there I do have some repositionable spray adhesive on the back of the stencil just to hold everything in place and so I make sure I get some nice crisp lines uh, so that water doesn't you know and ink doesn't seep through that being said if you these are very affordable. In fact, I have a video coming up on Sunday for a celebration hop, which if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would encourage you to do so because we have a huge celebration hop that's coming up on Sunday. And there's gonna be a lot of gifts being given away and you're gonna need to be subscribed to the channel in order to be entered. So make sure you click that subscribe button and that way you and ring the bell and all notifications, that way you will not be notified as soon as that video uploads. There's several people participating in the hop, so um, you'll have tons of chances to enter and possibly win. So please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and click all notifications so that you'll know as soon as those, those videos get uploaded. So here I'm just going to go through and I'm adding in the yellow and, and you know, for the stamens and you know, again, this couldn't be any simpler for water coloring. And I recommend these because there's a lot of things that you can do and like I said in the video for the celebration hop I'm going to show you another way to use these and for the you know in the beginning I showed two different sizes I bought the imperial purple in the two ounce because I wanted to try you know there's so many different purples and things that you just don't know and so and then the the other one was a turquoise color which was an eight ounce now we generally buy an eight ounce because we're using the dyes to tie dye with and we want to make sure we have some but if for paper crafting purposes the two ounce is more than plenty and some of them are as low as $1.95 a jar depending on the color that you pick they can be a bit more expensive because it's you know it's a rare color or whatever the you know what what is used to create the color you know what I mean may have something that's a bit more expensive in there and so here you can see I just pulled the, that off. Now the card panel that I was watercoloring on is six by nine, that's B watercolor paper. And I'm using these Essentials by Ellen, their inlaid frame, this is a rectangle set, to get that inlaid frame, I, I love that look. And it really steps your cards up without having to do anything but die cut. Now 
The gold I'm using is Tim Holtz craft stock and I use the largest to cut my watercolor panel down and then I use the second one down, the next one down to create the card panel, you know, with the inlay. And I'm just using some liquid glue. This is a book binding glue. Gives me a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to, you know, putting all that stuff together. And for the lettering, the, the, the script sentiments, I put some glossy accents on them. And I just, you know, it's a black card stock, which is Fabriano black black. And that really just steps it up a little bit given, given, with that shine. And then off camera, I added some sequins. Those, I'm not good with sequins and adding that type of bling, so it takes me forever. So sometimes I put it in, sometimes I don't. You'll see them in the pictures at the end. Um, but the scripty words are from the greetery, and the Y-O-U is also from the greetery. That's in the one of their alphabet sets that they have. And I just love it. I love you know, combining that, you know, scripty detailing with a simple font uh, for your sentiments. And, you know, again, this card couldn't be easier. It'd be fine without the the sequence that I add at the end. Um, but I do, I just, you know what, it's a nice pop of color. It's fun. Um, it, and I just love it. I, th I think the card came out fantastic. And trust me, I struggled to do this. Not once I got to this stencil, but I had tried spritzing and, you know, it just, it wasn't working. I even ruined a stencil. So, because I was trying to dry quick and I like to let things air dry, but when I'm short on time, I, you know, you got to break out the heat gun and I want a little nutty with it. But, so that's going to finish up the card for me today after I put the panel in. This is just an inside panel. I didn't stamp or stencil or anything on the inside. I'm going to keep it blank until I know where it's going, what I'm doing with it. Uh, but the layering cards that stock that I use on the inside of my cards is Gina K's white layering paper. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. It's nice and smooth, perfect to stamp, perfect to write on. And the card base is Simon says stamp soft navy. And here I had to get some fraying sometimes on my die cut words. And I just took a stiff brush, you know, dry brush and, you know, aggressively went over it and that cleared all the little black specks from my die cutting plates off. But that's going to finish up for me today, guys. I thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.